buddy's ID. What's your name? What's your name? I've already explained it. If I have to ask you again, you're going to go for obstruction. Get them, get them, get them. We got her. So, man, you going to ID yourself or are you going to go to jail? Welcome back to the Lackluster channel. Do you guys remember the twins from a couple days ago? I had the on dash cam cut That's me fine. off. That's fine. Cutting, cutting you off. off? I came up behind you. Don't tell me I cut you off. You I got you on camera too. That's all Give right. me your ID. Our job sucks already sometimes. If you're any kind of pro law enforcement, why would you not let the cops know you have a weapon on you? I'm all about rights and stuff. Oh, I get it, but yeah. that's just like your safety at the same time. Some cops aren't going to like that. I understand it's in the law, yeah. but we still have a right to know yeah, if you have you're a not in the gun on you. Yeah. Our job sucks. I don't I'm care what the state of Ohio says. Our job sucks, dude. I'm not ever gonna violate anyone's rights or do anything wrong our job sucks you know you're right it's like as soon as you yes. said that i was like ah shit that was the toledo police department and they're in the news again there's a ton of police agencies using onboard computer systems with cameras that can detect your license plate and give them an automatic reading on their computer problem with that is it's not always correct now humans can enter the incorrect information as well multiple officers pulling guns and threatening to shoot what turned out to be a completely innocent family this is scaring the hell out of me Frisco police shut down part of the tollway that day, held the family of four at gunpoint, even putting a teenage boy in handcuffs. Now Frisco police admit an officer entered the license plate of that vehicle wrong. The Frisco police chief did issue an apology in writing today. He said, I apologized on behalf of our department and assured them that we will hold ourselves accountable. <laughs> Are you serious? And provide transparency through the process. But there's a little bit more of an insult there when a computer decides whether or not you remain free. Now in this case, the computer was wrong and entered an incorrect license plate. It was supposed to be for a Chevy Malibu, but this man was in a red truck. And when police pulled him over thinking that they had found their stolen vehicle, this is what happened. Driver out of the truck, do it now! Just last week, a Toledo officer stopping a red pickup truck police say had stolen plates. More officers racing to the scene. They instantly came out with their guns drawn. Shut the truck off. Do it now. Upchurch capturing the incident on his cell phone. What are y'all pulling me over for? Upchurch makes his way to the grass just as the canine unit inches closer. Upchurch with his hands up. On the ground, do now. You're going to get bit. <laughs> That dog biting him on the arm. He was going for my face. Luckily, I put my arm up and he got me. The officers handcuffing him. Your car has stolen it? license plate you know, on it. I promise it don't. Yeah, it does. The officers then heard realizing the camera license plate reader was wrong. The car in question, a Chevy Malibu, not up church's pickup truck. Well, that's not the stolen plate. No. no. All they had to do is run them tags again. We could, everybody would have uh, went about their merry way. I need justice served because this has been going on for too long, especially in, in, in Toledo. But of course, Toledo, Ohio will be doing their own internal investigation. So don't worry. I'm sure they'll find the computer was at fault and that their officers did nothing wrong. Whit Upchurch was booked on charges of obstruction and resisting arrest. Police maintained that they thought Upchurch was going to flee and didn't know if he or the passenger in the truck had any weapons. We still have a right to know if yeah, you have a loaded gun on you. Yeah. Well, actually, I don't I'm care what the state of Ohio says. The Toledo Police Department is conducting an internal investigation. The next story shows one of the most widespread problems in law enforcement in America today. We often see officers with years and years of experience with absolutely no clue what the law is or how to enforce it. And often it's the most basic and simple laws. Stopping and yelling at people on a traffic line. I'm just hushing. You listen. told me to hush go ahead and go. I wasn't talking to him. You told me to go ahead and go. I wasn't talking to him. That you was want to stop family. and listen or do you want okay, to go to jail go. right now? Go. I will take you to jail right now. Go. Interfering with an investigation on a traffic stop, regardless of what you want to believe or not. Period. Did I say something? I'm tired of you. Hold it. I didn't say nothing. Hold it. Come on. Come on. Yes. Now, in this case, a designated driver was stopped before leaving a parking lot after a night on the town. Well, you, you need to turn the music down a little bit. That's, that's oh, okay. I'm sorry. A disorderly. Are you, have you been drinking or anything? I'm sorry. You been, that's when Jonesboro out. police approached this car for loud out. music. You have your driver's license on you? The driver was sober. But when Officer Faith Ann Kellerman noticed that there were other passengers in the vehicle, 
she demanded that everybody step out and identify, and even threatened to arrest them if they refused to do so. Driver's license in hand, it almost appears the encounter is over until officers notice more people in the car. You mind rolling yours down? They don't have ID and question why they're being asked for it since they're not driving. Now, if you've been around the channel for a while, you'll know that if you're a passenger in a vehicle and you are not suspected of a crime, an officer asking you for an identification is a consensual act. It's a consensual conversation. You don't need to provide it unless they suspect you of an infraction or criminal activity. Now, it could be something as simple as not wearing a seatbelt, but if they don't have something specifically on you, then demanding your identification is beyond the scope of their authority, not to mention a violation of the oath they swore to the Constitution and your civil rights. Hey, everybody's ID. What's your name? What's your name? I've already explained it. If I have to ask you again, you're going to go for obstruction. So, man, you going to ID yourself or are you going to go to jail? Which one? I've already explained it to you twice. So last opportunity before we take you out of the car and put you in cuffs. My name's Sid. Hey, hey, stay in the vehicle. My name's Sid, so what? Oh, what's your, what's I your just last told you my name, Sid. Right, go ahead and get out. No weapons are seen, no marijuana, no open container, according to the police report, but there's a definite sense of urgency. I just told you my name. Hey. I you're said my name is Cedric. Put it behind your back. I just told you my name. I'm not going to tell you again. Roll over. <laughs> Roll over. Hey. Hey. Roll over. I just Watch told out. Hold Watch on. Out. You What these officers don't know is that Washington has a metal rod in his leg. That after suffering a car accident and having his leg rebuilt at the Med in Memphis. <laughs> Melinda Young, Washington's mother, watching the police body camera footage. This happened so fast, it went from zero to a thousand in 2.5 seconds. He's, he's Put your legs Indian style so you can stay sitting up. This man do not bend at all. He just said he's got a rod in his leg. Want see it? EMTs come to check Washington out. Oh, and you left one? Okay, so, yeah, that electricity hit that. Come back. You're still on. Huh? You're still lying? What'd you I told you my brother. In fact, an officer admits he entered the yes, wrong information. Make sure you are who you say you are, because I messed up your date of birth. That was my fault. But the ambulance soon leaves and Washington is arrested. It's always a mess. Police Chief Rick Elliott says encounters like these happen when the bars close down in downtown Jonesboro every Sunday morning. At the end of the day, this is what I tell people. Comply now and complain later. Now we hear that a lot. Comply now, complain later. But the problem is people are starting to get sick of it because normally when we complain later, we're often met with silence or record tampering. One of the claims states that Chief Mason's underage son was at this party and it alleges the chief told officers not to put his son's name in the police report. If you think if you're on a stop or in a situation when you're dealing with the police and you think it's inappropriate, comply with the officer, and then we have a complaint process. Washington was a pro boxer who now, due to his injuries, cannot fight or play with his kids. Did you wait on me? Normally works as a cook at the G Street Kitchen. After bonding out of jail, he was taken to NEA Baptist, where he was hospitalized for three days for traumatic rhabdomyolysis. Rhabdomyolysis is a serious and life-threatening condition also because it's not only uh, the damage to the kidney, but it also can affect the heart. You can clearly see the taser probes latch on the leg with the metal rod. If you hadn't made that contact, we wouldn't even have the situation. Shamal Carter says Jonesboro police should never have made contact with this car. Reginald Prunty agrees. He says the passenger's rights were violated. That's why you have Uber. That's why you have people that are designated drivers that don't drink. We, we wouldn't have this conversation right now had your officers been doing something better than sitting and waiting on a car full of black people to pull out. If this would have been a car of white people, would the response have been any different? Identical. White, brown, or black. 
Same response. And in this case, despite the fact that there were multiple officers on scene, it appears that only one was punished, the lead officer. The department is ignoring the fact that all the other officers were there and failed to do anything to intervene. Chief Elliott said he did not agree with how Officer Faith Kellerman handled the situation. She was found to be in violation of arrest procedures involving consensual contact. It says an officer may approach anyone, is not required to have reasonable suspicion, but may not take any steps through words or conduct to stop a person's movement, and the subject cannot be made in any way to participate. Consequently, Officer Kellerman was reprimanded. But that's not enough. According to Carter and Prunty, they want to see the policies change. Because community policing is not me stopping you for ID. It, does, it shouldn't be. This, this type of policing is what puts our community in jeopardy. Washington is now trying to get back on his feet, literally. I'm back on the walker. That's really depressed. Can't play with my kids like I want to. All over a night on the town. So why are we being stopped though? I'm being a Put it And a chance the encounter the between a man and Roll officers whose jobs are to protect and Roll serve. Oh. In the end, as always, I'm curious what you guys think of these interactions. Let me know in the comment section down below which one do you think was the most egregious? Or am I wrong on any of these?